Hello everyone, Season AI here, and in today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to create this octagon spiral logo in Affinity Vector Studio, formerly known as Affinity Designer. All right, so to get started, we go ahead and we create a new composition. And then we go to View, Guides, and we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So first, we're going to draw an octagon. So we take the polygon tool, we set the number of size to 8, we set the stroke to none, and we are going to set the fill to any color, I will set to orange. And then starting from the middle of the composition, and while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the one-to-one -one proportions, we go ahead and we create an octagon of about this size. And then we take the Move tool, we are going to need a second octagon, so we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we are going to set the fill color to a different color, so I will set it to black. And then, while holding Ctrl and Shift, we scale it down until it is about two thirds the size of the first octagon. And then we select both octagons. And we are going to subtract the area of the second octagon from the first one. So we go here to the subtract operator, and this removes the area of the second octagon. Alright, so now that we have this shape, the next step is going to be to create the branches of the logo. So first, in order to do this, we go here to Move Tool Settings, and we enable Transform Origin in order to be able to rotate it from the center. And we are going to rotate it by 22.5 to have the object in this orientation. And then we select it and we are going to create the branches. So we take the pen tool, we position a first node here along the inner edge of the object, and then we click on Shift, we hold Shift, to lock the angle at 45 degrees increments. And then we position a second node here at about half the length of the object. And then we position a third node, and it is important that the third node lies outside of the boundaries of the object. So now we have created our first line, and we are going to use it to create the branches of the octagon. So we position the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel, and we are going to duplicate and rotate it. So we are going to need 8 lines overall. So here we check on Duplicate, and we set the number of copies to 7. And here at Rotation, we set it to 360 divided by 8. And we click on OK. So this gives us the other lines that we need. And then we select all the elements in the composition. And we go here to the divide operator to divide the octagon along the lines. So this creates the branches that we need. And then the last step to create the gaps between the branches. So we select everything. And we go here to the contour tool. Here we set it to meter to preserve the sharp angles. And we are going to decrease the radius. So we set it to minus 0.5. And as you can see, this creates the gaps between the branches. And lastly, we can set the orientation back as it was in the beginning. I think it looks better this way. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create an octagon spiral logo in Affinity Vector. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.